Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to macro and grow a garden in the new beanstalk update. So the macro will be able to grow this beanstalk in the center of the map automatically and be able to purchase from all the shops and do the crafting up at the top. And on top of that, it can also buy all of the seeds, gears, eggs, regular crafting, merch and merchants like this. It can also automatically collect all the plants in your garden so that you'll always have the right plants to deposit to the beanstalk. All right, now a couple things before we get started. I want to give a big thank you to Veeridge for creating the original macro. I made most of this version of the macro, but there are still some stuff that Veeridge made, like the code for auto-align and how it buys from the shops. But I did add a lot to it, like merchants, events, crafting, stuff like that. Now, I'm sorry guys that it's taken me this long to get this update out. I've been really busy lately and haven't had the time to work on the macro. And one last thing, I just want to let everyone know that my new game, Steel of Bee, will be releasing this Saturday at 11 a.m. EST. I'll leave a link in the description to the game so you can play it when it comes out. All right, so the first thing you want to do is we need to install Auto Hotkey. This is how the macro does all of its actions. So you're going to want to go to autohockey.com. I'll leave a link in the description. And click on this download button. Now you want to download V1.1. V2.0 will not work, so download V1.1. Then I'll install up here. Then just run the setup file and, and install it from there. Now, if you don't already have my macro, you need to install it from the GitHub page, also in the description. So you can just go on to here, and right here, and click source code zip. And then there we go, it'll give us the file. If you do already have the macro though, it should just auto update. So whenever I release a new update onto GitHub, so you don't have to worry about reinstalling it. All right, so we're gonna open this up. We're gonna click right click, extract all. Now we're going to click Browse and find the location that you want to install it to. I'm just going to set it to my desktop. I'm going to click Select Folder, then Extract. Alright, it'll take a second, then it'll pop up where it showed up. And then you can open this folder, and it'll have these files. Now you're going to want to run main.ahk. This is the file that will uh, that will open up the macro. Okay, now that we have the macro installed, let's go over how to set it up. So you'll see up at the top here, there's all these tabs, and this is where you can change the settings for everything you want it to buy. So for starting off, we have the seed shop. It has all the seeds with checkboxes, so you can select each individual seed that you would like it to buy, or you can just use this up here to select all of them, which is what I recommend you to do. Alright, now the same thing here with the gears. I recommend getting all the gears except, except cleaning spray, favorite tool, harvest tool, friendship pot, and level up lollipop. If you do have a lot of money, like, like I do, then you can also get those ones. But if you don't have that much money, then I wouldn't recommend those ones. All right, now for the eggs. Get all the eggs, they're useful to have. Especially if you're wanting to complete all these core pets achievements. All right, now here's the merchant tab where I can buy from the merchants. So we've got the spray merchant. I recommend getting all of the, these mutation sprays. Sky Merchant, get all these items. Right, now I have the Honey Merchant. I don't recommend getting all these items. I would think you should just get Flower Seed Pack and Bee Egg. And that Bee Crate and Honey Crafters Crate, these are just cosmetics. And then you can also get the Honey Sprinklers if you don't have a Bear Bee. But if you do have a Bear Bee, then you can get Infinite of the Honey Glaze Mutation, so no point spending your honey on the honey sprinkler. And then you can also get all the summer seeds, which I do recommend doing. All right, now we've got our crafting tab. So we have the seed crafting over here where you can craft seeds if you want. 
But I actually recommend just not doing that because it does take a lot of like actual um, crops, which you don't really have a ton of. All right, and now item crafting. I think I recommend getting reclaimers. They're just useful to have. So that if you get a rare seed and you don't want to shovel it, then you can just turn it back into a seed. All right, next up we have our, our beanstalk event. So up first we have the auto collect plants. Now what this will do is it will go through your garden and it will hold E to collect all the plants. What you can do is when you check this, it will say which side of the map are you on, seeds or cell. Now just, this is just whatever side of the map your garden's on. See like my garden is on the cell side, so I'll just click cell. And now auto deposit beanstalk. This will just automatically deposit the plants in your inventory to the beanstalk. Now over here we have all of the items in Goliath's goods. I recommend getting the sprout seed pack, sprout egg, mandrake, silver fertilizer, canary melon, amber heart, and spriggan. Now on this side we have the friendship shop. I recommend getting the skyroot chest a can of beans so you can collect high up plants. Bouncy mushrooms also so you can collect high, high up plants, but if you don't have that much cosmetic space, don't get this. Um, glow pod, flare melon, giant bean chard, and the nail. Alright, now you have your bean stock crafting. Now honestly, you can go with any of these. I would recommend sprout eggs, guy root chest, or pet chard, giant bean. I just feel like these are the three best items that you can craft. So that's just my opinion. All right, now here's the main settings tab. These two spots up here are if you use a Discord webhook. I don't, so I don't know where to get this information from. I'm sure someone else out there has a tutorial on how to do that. All right, next is your UI navigation keybind. This will most likely be a backslash, but if for some reason it's not a backslash, then you can type that into here. Here's your macro speed, stable, fast, ultra, or max. I say just go with stable. It's the most stable. All right, now your navigation mode. Change this to hotbar. What that means is whenever you press the backslash key or whatever else, your UI navigation keybind is, you'll see this blue box that shows up. It, you, if it starts on the hotbar, you want to set it to the hotbar. But if whenever you press it, it starts up here to the settings icon, you'll want to change it to navigation mode settings. All right, now this is for if you want it to ping in your Discord, again, for the webhook. Auto align, yes, turn it on. There's no point not to. There's buy all cosmetics here, which you can use. And then this last tab is the credits tab. Once again, thank you to Veeridge, real helped out Veeridge. And then this is me. You can click these links. This will, this link takes you to the GitHub, just so if you did need to reinstall it for some reason, you can do that. And this other link, I'll take you right to my YouTube channel so you can see any future tutorials. All right, I do want to say a few more things before you go ahead and actually start the macro. Now, number one, you need to have your recall wrenches in the number two slot of your hotbar. Otherwise, the macro won't be able to go to anything over in this area. Um, unequip any, like, mouse pets or, I think... Hmm. It might be a Stegosaurus that's the one that speeds you up. Any pets that speed you up, unequip those so the macro is able to walk in the correct distance. And now for your actual settings on Roblox, you're going to want to go over here, shift lock, turn your shift lock off, camera mode is set to default classic, same with move, move in mode default keyboard, camera sensitivity set to 1, and the most important one here, UI navigation toggle on. If this is not on, the macro can't buy from any of the shops. All right, I, th I think we're good now. It's time to actually start the macro. 
So you can do this by pressing the F5 key on your keyboard, and then you'll see it's starting. Then press F7 to stop it. There we go, it stopped what it was doing, and it popped right back up on my screen. All right, now I'm gonna show you a demo run so you can see just everything that the, the macro can do.